I can't believe I'm saying this but the Techno Camo 30 Pro 5G is the best median phone to have ever existed. No doubt, so ridiculously impressive that it now leads in the mid-range category. And before Redmi and Samsung get jealous, and they will to be honest, I have to say that this Camon 30 Pro 5G merits it in every possible angle. It even sets a world record with one unique feature. So those are the 18s I really think are amazing about this phone. First is the unboxing experience. In a world where smartphone companies are using excuses to literally take out more items from the boxes. It's good for the environment. Techno is one of the very few companies which are adding more. You get the phone itself, a SIM ejector 2, a USB-C cable, and a fast charging brake. But that's not all. You also get a screen protector and a pair of earbuds which I think are way cooler than earphones. Hey yo, what the f Another is the design language. I do love it here, but that doesn't mean I think it's perfect. For one, the matte glass back is very premium, not only by the way it looks, but also by the way it feels. That means that you won't worry about wiping it constantly, which would have been the case if it was a glossy finish instead. But I wish I could say the same about the frame. My god, that looks so slippery. The fact that it's very glossy doesn't only make it irritatingly prone to fingerprint smudges, but if the worst mistake would happen and the phone would fall out of your hand and maybe smash onto the ground, you feel like you're the unluckiest person in the world. I don't like that, but I guess applying the case will make that less likely to happen. The camera model looks pretty bold and unique. It's, in fact, I can say this was one of my best camera finishes of all time. It just looks neat and sophisticated, and I'm a fan. So onto the display, and at one glance, it looks fairly normal. A 1080p AMOLED panel with HDR support and 1300 nits of brightness. Okay. okay so, but the refresh rate is bonkers. We're getting 144Hz refresh rate, which is something put specifically on flagship gaming phones. And that would mean bodily smooth scrolling and improvement in frame rates during gaming. And that coupled with the 360Hz touch sampling rate would mean that you just scroll and forget about the rest. It's very cool, but if you ask me, I would have preferred a standard 120Hz refresh rate with support for HTPO tech. But no worries, as that feature will be available on the high end Camon 30 Premier. Another reason I said this phone is better than the best mid ranger from Samsung or Redmi is the performance. The Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G was powered by the Mediatek Dimensity 7200, which was an amazing chip. Or well, this Camo 30 Pro 5G is powered by that chip's successor, the Dimensity 8200 Ultra. And putting it side by side with the Redmi Note 13 Pro Plus 5G and the Samsung Galaxy A55 5G, you can see that on Antutu, this Techno passes the other two phones, which are 900,000 points, whilst the others barely even hit 800. And that means that the performance would be amazing. And using it practically, you can run about 20 apps at the same time and none will restart or dip in performance, which is aided by 12GB of RAM and 512GB of internal storage. If you play games like Call of Duty Mobile or Genshin Impact, I bet you won't see the difference coming from this and an actual flagship phone because the settings can be cranked to the maximum. And if you are enjoying this video, please do hit that like button so that more people can get to see this video and also sub the channel to join our wonderful tech family. Thank you very much. So without that out of the way, let's talk about the extra features. This phone has an IR blaster to navigate around certain appliances. Looks like they copied that from someone. There's also Dolby Atmos stereo speakers, an under display fingerprint scanner which is very snappy, NFC and water resistance. Techno didn't actually confirm an IP rating for this phone, but the fact that it can handle splashes and even being submerged into water, I can't say that it doesn't have it. The screen can even operate under wet conditions, apps can be used, the fingerprint scanner even works, which is a very good taste, as even top level phones struggle with it. Now I'll get on to the good stuff. So here are the top 3 things I think are genius about this phone. And the final one even sets a world record which I think you really need to see. So first is AI. This phone can do a whole bunch of AI related stuff. You can generate AI imagery, create schedules and so on. There's even an AI assistant which can help you with your everyday life. But it goes further. At your leisure, the color has an editor which has the ability to swap out the skies, making things that were shot in the daytime look like they were shot at night time. Will I use these features? No, probably not, but I think the concept is very brilliant. Another is something I like to call steady mode. 
It means that if you are shooting at a resolution as high as 4K, you don't need a tripod as this phone will make the video very smooth. Why is this a big deal to me is that I've never seen a mid ranger do this before. If you wanted any sort of stabilization, you have to go and do 1080p which isn't as sharp or as cinematic and the fact that you can do it here feels amazing. Just take a look at how irritating the video output looks without stabilization. It looks pretty shitty don't you think? So to the final feature on this phone which makes it legendary. 4K selfie video. So this is officially the first mid ranger in the world to do this, thus setting a world record. That would be excellent for vlogging, content creation and the like so I can see that this is the best selfie camera on the mid ranger, period. Aside these interesting things, this phone also runs iOS 14.0 slapped on Android 14 which should get at least 2 years of major Android updates. There's a 5000mAh battery with 70W charging, capable of filling the phone from flat in about 50 minutes. And there's also a 15MP ultra wide camera which would mean better ultra wide shots and better macro shots as well. So should you buy the record setting Camo 30 Pro 5G? I can see that if you are ok with the starting price of around 500 to 600,000 Nigerian Naira, then this is the best phone to get. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel. I am Hilary, this is Harry21 and I'll catch you in the next one.